Hey guys, welcome to Red 5 -0. Thank you for tuning in to another video. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. So in today's video, we're going to be discussing the 2022 Ford Mustang. Ford typically announces their new Mustang model years around fall time. And as you guessed it, it is fall and we've got some exciting news. Well, not so much, but we've got some news regarding the Ford Mustang for the 2022 model year. Okay, so a couple weeks ago, Ford did announce some packages for the 2022 Ford Mustang. So the California package is going to be seeing a return. And in addition, we're going to be seeing some stealth package, which uh, is similar to the Black Accent package. But what you do get is the Euro taillights. Finally, finally, after six, seven years of Mustang, the S550 Mustang has been out. We've been wanting the Euro taillights for so long, and Ford has finally listened and has given us the Euro taillight stock. We no longer have to get them from aftermarket. And as you have guessed it, since Ford recently did announce 2022 Mustang model year, we are not seeing the S650 Mustang generation, which would have been the seventh generation. It is rumored to be out for the 2023 model year, somewhere around late 2022. We should be hearing a lot more about the new generation Mustang. Now, what I really want to discuss in this video is the horsepower and torque numbers and what it means for the future for the Ford Mustang, unfortunately. So if you guys didn't know, Ford recently announced just a couple of days ago that unfortunately that the Mustang GT, not the EcoBoost, but the Mustang GT, is going to be seeing a horsepower decrease. Normally when you're approaching the end of cycle for a generation, you typically would see some special limited editions or even increase in horsepower. But Ford decided to do something a little odd and that's decrease the horsepower only for the Mustang GT. Not for the EcoBoost, but just the GT. The Ford Mustang GT makes 460 horsepower and 420 foot-pound of fork in Gen 3 Coyote form for 2018 and up model years up until 2021. But for 2022 model year, that's unfortunately changing and now we're going to be seeing a decrease of 10 horsepower and 10 foot-pound of torque. So the Mustang GT for the 2022 model year is going to be making only 450 horsepower and 410 foot-pound of torque. Now can you really tell the difference? Probably not. But why is Ford decreasing the horsepower and the torque numbers on the Mustang? Unfortunately, it has to do with the strict emissions regulations that Ford has been forced to decrease the horsepower and the torque ratings for the Gen 3 Coyote numbers just to comply with the strict emission regulations as we're seeing. Now, I personally don't think that the 10 horsepower number is really going to change anything, but it leads to a bigger question, why is Ford doing that and what it means for the future of the Mustang? Does that mean the new generation of S650 Mustang, which we kind of thought was going to go electric or hybrid at some point, does that mean that they're not going to be able to give the Mustang GT the V8 with more horsepower that we kind of anticipated are we going to see a hybrid model sooner than later or even an electric version sooner than later that we anticipated so i'm kind of curious to see on four stars of what they're going to do with the 650 mustang which is soon to be launched next year hopefully at least revealed and should be coming as a 2023 model year are they going to keep the v8 or are they just going to completely discard it and go with the electric or hybrid powertrain dodge also has announced that they're going to be going e-muscle from 2024 so i wonder if ford is going to follow them and kind of go electric mustang i also wonder what it means for the 2018 to 2021 mustang gts in terms of their value are they going to retain a little bit more value than 2022 again 10 horsepower is not going to make a big difference but i wonder if that's something that's going to be followed through and you're going to see less and less mark less and less money being obtained for the 2022 mustang gts in the future I'm kind of excited to see what else or what other changes Ford is going to be making for the 2022 Mustang model years. The order guide should be out soon, so I'll be revealing that on this channel as well. So make sure you are subscribed so we can discuss what packages and what changes there are for the 2022 Mustang model years. And if there are going to be major changes than what we're just seeing on the surface currently. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's some unfortunate news for the 2022 Mustang GTs, and especially if you had been holding out with the crazy pricing we're currently experiencing. Maybe you thought it's not a good time to get it, and you'll just wait for the 2022 model year. Once the chip shortage and everything kind of settles down, it kind of sucks you're in that place now where you are going to get a Mustang GT with less horsepower than previously you could have gotten in the 2021 model year. So I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Make sure to comment below what your thoughts are on the decrease in the horsepower. And as always, subscribe to Red 5.0 for more videos.